Hello guys, welcome back to a new video of Blue Moon Survival. Today I'm going to be going over my plate carrier. First, right here we have a boo-boo kit, medical kit, whatever you want to call it. Don't really matter. Right here, I've got my mag pouches. Right here is a pistol mag pouch that holds two. Right here, this goes to my bladder in the back. Right here is my bail thing, radio. Push the tarp. Over here, I've got four smoke grenades with a lighter up towards the top here. I have a sheath for my knife. We got some Amazon patches. Another few details about this vest is that it is called a Y-A-K-E-D-A. -E I'm guessing Yakata. Probably butchering that, but it's okay. It is got a QD system for quick detachment. It's very adjustable. You can get it on Amazon and you can even adjust the top pads right here for your arms and it seems to be holding up pretty well. I use it for airsoft, so. All right, moving on to the back. On the back, I have a, I believe, Spanker Tactical back plate. I have a pair of cutters, which would be good for simple fences and stuff. The pouch going for my radio and a few more Amazon patches. So let's get into the bag. First, I have some hearing protection. Next, I have a bundle of snacks, and this is instant coffee for energy, a paddle for my holster, some paper towels, a tool for my holster, some mapping stuff, a pair of gloves, and that's it for that pouch. For the next pouch on this, I have a cold weather bargain, or a balaclava, water filter, my water bladder, few extra details I failed to mention is the mag pouches I use are Crydex double M4 or AK mag pouches. I prefer two because it's a lot lighter and I also keep a few extra mag pouches for my pistol on my vest too. I also run a war belt that holds another Crydex mag pouch for the, an AK or M4 top mag. The medical pouch I use is a Maxpedition gear cocoon. I try to keep things minimalist to save weight. It also don't hurt to save a dollar. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.